Hello you guys, welcome to the Ranting Drop. It's me, Melissa, and I just wanted to drop in quickly to let you guys know that there has been an official flyer being shown on social media that is supposed to be depicting the upcoming contestants of Ready to Love Season 5. And this is going to be, according to the flyer, another show from the dmv area and i'm gonna go through just a bit of the contestants all right you guys so we have precious who looks i mean she has a pretty face um a nice body she is she looks good we have Kina or Kina, and I'm guessing her name is Kina. What the hell does she have on? And, like, what is going on here? It looks so sloppy. Like, I, I, I'm not a fan of how she's dressed. I feel like she's going to be one of the people to go home very soon. Because the way she pre the presentation of herself in this flyer is just unacceptable. I'm not saying that your your breasts cannot hang, but everything about the picture is very sloppy. So I don't know about that. We have Tiffany. Nice smile. Okay. Now, her smile kind of looks a little painful. Like, you know, sometimes when people smile, they almost look like they're in pain. She has a slight bit of that painful smile look. We have Joy. Joy is tattooed up. And she has some braids in her hair. Body looks nice and right. She looks like she don't take any mess. Just based on her facial expression. She's not even really smiling in that picture. She looks like she's not anybody to really play with. We have Ace. I love that name. Ace looks just as old or maybe older than Precious. And she also looks like she is not going to be the one to be played with. Uh, I don't know. If she's going to make it that far. But we shall see. And I'm just literally judging based on their presentation. I mean her stance seems very confident. But still. I'm not sure if the guys are going to really be necessarily attracted to her. But who knows. We have Sabrina. Sabrina looks quite beautiful. So we had a Sabrina just on this current ready to love and now we have another sabrina she looks younger than a lot of the other women precious is actually the youngest woman on the show so far but just based on physical look sabrina just looked so much younger and i actually thought that joy was also pretty young but she's actually one of the older women on the season so looks can be very much deceiving and then we have the kia the kia looks like okay let me just say this the kia ace and precious they all look like they're around the same age group i would add kina too as well they all look like they're around the same age group like close to their 40s that's what they look like However, the Kia, her body looks like, of course, she's taken care of it. Um, she looks very fun in the picture. Very, like, sexy and, but classy. So, we're gonna see how that goes. Then, bear in mind, there are less women this time around. And people are saying that perhaps they're trying to focus more on quality as opposed to quantity. But based on what I'm seeing here, it's really hard to tell if this is quality or not. But we have some of the men. We have Clifton, who is um, a muscular man. He looks short. He is 
kind of attractive. Mm hmm. He has some tattoos. Okay, Clifton. Looking like he's close to 40 or something. Laverne. I've never heard a guy named Laverne. And he looks corny. He has this nice suit on, this huge smile. And he has his hands rubbing together like he's about to start playing games or he's he can't wait to start ruining lives. That's what he looks like. We have Tori. Tori has, I believe, locks. He looks okay. I mean, what can I say about him? He looks alright. He kind of reminds me of the person that Winter decided to choose in that season i believe it was season three the one that winter decided to choose i forgot his name he gives me that vibe i don't want to say like a bum but then you have fernando he looks like the type of person you know that during family cookouts will ask you for a hug i don't know maybe maybe not he looks nice in his suit. The smile doesn't seem genuine though. But who knows. We have Demetrius. Demetrius. So this time around, I guess the DMV, that's just how men dress. The bald head and the beard is just what they do. Because one, two, three, four out of the seven men have the same look it's a bald head and it's a beard so Demetrius is dark skinned just like Fernando nice interesting smile um he's wearing this pinkish suit combination mm, what can I say not my type but somebody's type he, according to this song from um, this lyric by Marshall Montano, I believe he may not be, she may not be right for me, but she right for somebody. Well, I could just flip that around and say he might be right for somebody, but he's not right for me, cha. Then we have Wiley, and Wiley's giving me, I don't know, Playboy vibes, just like a Playboy pose a playboy suit just playboy vibes nice smile though then we have i don't know if his name is wiley or willie i'm just gonna say wiley until further notice then we have paul paul looks like he's the oldest man in this set of guys um hand rubbed together looks a little sloppy but that just may be the way his shirt is in his suit i don't know but these are the guys clifton laverne tori fernando demetrius wiley paul women women are precious kina orkina tiffany joy a sabrina the kia right and then we could see a little bit of their instagrams we have clifton petty clifton the fourth on instagram he's followed by miss sabrina soul right so i'm to assume that the current cast members already know the f future cast members and i believe a lot of them probably suggested their friends or their relatives to be a part of the show as well so that could explain then we have it's precious baby that's precious's instagram right she's from dc and she's a georgia she lives in dc but i'm guessing she's from georgia yes right she already put ready to love dmv in her uh, bio so that should tell you that she's very eager for people to know that she's 
gonna be on the upcoming season of ready to love child she's owner of phoenix swim which to me seems like a she says coming soon so is it a new venture or what and she's followed by clifton carrie courtney right then we have try being savage with fernando savage he is in comedy he travels He's a chef, a jack of all trades, right? He put Ready to Love DC Season 5 in his bio, at own TV, at own Keep It Real, at Will Packer Productions. Savage is being true to yourself. Okay, sir. All right. He's followed by Libba, Clifton, cast members of this current season are already following the other seasons cast which means they've already filmed and wrapped if they're already doing all this they've already filmed this one and wrapped up already all the drama has already happened everything has happened already then we have demetrius his mom passed away he's from he went to georgetown university and purdue university so he is a learned man right it says remain humble positive energy followed by clifton the fourth um mookie moomen i i think stacy b follows him as well so he's well acquainted with the previous cast members already a lot of them have pretty much the person with the least amount of followers out of everyone is fernando and some people read that as being a good thing because it kind of like lets people f see that you don't live your life on social media um we have that then we have willie brown or wiley brown it says that he is an actor He's a renaissance man. He's a voice actor, artist, musician, health coach, son of Chuck Brown. I don't know who Chuck Brown is. Co-founder of CBF, Chuck Brown Foundation. www.chuckbrownfoundation.com Followed by Clifton the Fourth, Precious, you know, and other people. Let me see if I could see, because it appears that Chuck Brown was someone of great significance. So let's see who Chuck Brown was. I do get Chuck L Charles Lewis Brown, aka Chuck Brown, was an American guitarist, band leader, and singer who garnered the honorific nickname The Godfather of Go Go. Gogo -go is a subgenre of funk music developed around the Washington DC metropolitan area in the mid 1970s. So there we have it and his one of his children is listed as Willie Brown and I'm assuming or Wiley Brown so I'm assuming that was his dad. Um so his dad has passed away so his dad was a big was a og so that leads me to believe that he is well known in the dmv area because of his dad so i don't know if that's necessarily a good thing a bad thing we shall see okay so he has the most followers thus far um he seems to be a, a handsome guy who knows but he might just be using this as a springboard for his career a lot of people do that so it's not something i'm judging him by but yeah then we have tiff tiff with annie tiffany so Tiffany is an entrepreneur, she's a professional organizer, an educator, mother, giver of love and light, right? She's followed by its precious baby, Clifton the Fourth, of course, and other people. So we're gonna see how 
everything plays out with Miss Tiff with Fanny, Tiff Fanny, and see what is what's it what it's giving. We're gonna see what it's giving, okay? Then we have Joy Carter music. So Joy Carter is a musician. She's from Baltimore. And it also looks like she has some Portuguese lineage. Okay, it's a Mexican flag. Silly me. Silly me. So she's, is she from Mexico and moved and currently lives in Baltimore? That's what I'm getting. So she's a Mexican or half Mexican. It says rocker and creative followed by C. Cornelius follows her. Clifton follows her. So it seems that like Clifton follows everybody. I want to see if I, we could get any clip of her singing. And then I'm going to come back to let you guys know if it sounds good or, or what not. Hold on. you guys so i just listened to miss joy carter and she sounds good she has a, a a powerful voice singing skyfall one of my favorite james bond movies that i remember seeing way back in the day and the song stuck with me adele sings that song love it anyways you guys now we have sabrina dot topaz all right and her name is Sabrina Topacio, and she identifies as she, her, okay? She's from, is that Nicaragua? She is from Nicaragua, um, lives in D.C. by way of California. I think that's what it means. Um, eco, luxe, travel, fitness, and she included Ready to Love, DMV, at own tv on her in her bio followed by its precious baby clifton right and she has 853 followers um just a little bit more to get to that thousand mark then we have miss the kia miss dot the kia she is a dc native and she is from Marilyn, Maryland, or Marilyn, and um, she has the Ready to Love DMV in her bio. She's a systems engineer and director of Dance Dimensions. Dance Dimensions. It seems to me like this is a dance studio or a dance, a dance club or something. I'm assuming. And she has the information to. You know, direct people to her dance dimension studio. Followed by Carrie, Creole Cutie. It looks like Libba follows her as well. And it's Precious Baby. <laughs> Every time I say her name, I feel like, I feel the need to say, It's Precious Baby. So we have nine so far. And in total, I believe it's 14. So we are missing a few. We are missing a few, but we're going to cover that later on, perhaps do a separate video talking about the rest of the cast members. Let me know what you guys think thus far of the cast members from Ready to Love. Are you feeling them? Are you not? Do you feel like they should not have started another season so quickly? Do you think that we should have gotten some time to heal? 
you know and to 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 get out of that disappointment of the first season of the previous season we haven't even done the the reunion yet right it's a bit much it it's it's a lot let me know what you guys think in the comment section like subscribe and stay tuned for other reviews from malicia in the ranting shop bye bye